The dirty linen which is coming out at the moment is simply shocking about the present government. And now we hear that Liz Truss is being asked to foot a bill of £12,000 for expenses incurred um, at Chavening House in Kent, which is where she, which is the Grace and Favour House, which she had while she was Foreign Secretary. You remember when she was Foreign Secretary, when she tried to play chicken with Sergei Lavrov and lost. And she used this Grace and Favour House as her base for um, making, a, making a stab at becoming Prime Minister. And then she moved on to uh, Number 10 Downing Street, where once again she had an experience of financial irregularity, but this time that was uh, mostly uh, in the hands of Quasi Quateng. So uh, she's got two packages. One is the ridiculously uh, small package uh, that she's being asked to um, provide £12,000, which isn't much more, frankly, than she's cost so many of us who've seen our mortgages rise, who've seen our bills rise, uh, simply because of her fascination with Quasi Quateng's prodigious package and uh, his inability to de deliver and her inability to do the job effectively. And... This, uh, this disputing of that poultry bill. And now we discover that part of that bill involves uh, her taking dressing gowns from the house as, as if she was in some sort of cheap Novitel or Novichok accommodation and ran off with the, um, uh, with the soap package as opposed to Quasi Quateng's package. I, it's just humiliating to have these people, these small, insignificant and, uh, and silly individuals in charge of our country. And this is the level of silliness which we're dealing with. She is rich enough to pay this without blinking, but she wants to make a point. I think we should all make a point. We should all make a point. And Liz Truss, I, you know, maybe we should all send her our own bills, the bills which have increased because of her. That's an option as well, I'm sure.